Right now, there are literally thousands of GPTs in the market. All the GPTs doing one thing or another. And the great thing about these GPTs is that they are very easy to create and very easy to use. In this video, I just wanted to give you a rundown of this new GPT which is called as Shell GPT. Shell GPT's purpose is quite simple. All it is doing is it is letting you streamline the generation of your shell commands in various operating systems, code snippets, documentation and few of the git operations just by using this GPT. At the back end it uses um, OpenAI's model but you can also use open source models by using Olama. But in my experiments it doesn't really work well with the open source model. So in reality your only option is to use OpenAI and if you are using OpenAI then you would have to have a paid account where you would need OpenAI's API key. Installation is fairly simple. All you need to do is to log into your shell and then do pip install shell gpt. That is going to install it. Now if the next step you need to do is to just type sgpt on your shell and then it is going to ask the open api key just paste it and then you're all set and your key will be stored in this directory and this is a hidden file where it will store and of course open AI's api is not free of charge at all you would need to pay uh, for the chat gpt plus account which is around 20 us dollar per month now that being done that is all you need to do in terms of installation and then you can ask it question by just doing sgpt and then just ask any question of your choice and it is going to return you the answer so if you are doing some other commands like git and stuff you just say sgpt you just um, pass or pipe this output of git diff or whatever shell command you are using and this is a pipe sign pipe sign mean that you are sending the output of this command as an input to this command so what would happen is that sgpt will take your text prompt and take the output of the first command as a context and then will return you the answer in this case it is going to tell you the git commit message which we need to put in when we are uh, committing our changes to the branch or whatever okay and then if you want to um, analyze the logs from docker and you can use it in kubernetes pods too where you just generate the pods uh, logs and then just pick up uh, some of the 20 lines and stuff and then pipe it to the sgpt similarly you can do summarization just like <coughs> we do with other gpts and then you can um, simply use a simple shell command if you don't know if you have forgotten the shell commands all you need to do is to just type in your natural language prompt and it is going to return you the command and then it is asking also asking you whether to execute it describe it or just report it so if, just if you want to do the execute just type e in small e or capital e and it is going to execute the command which it has just produced and i have found out that even it is able to handle the complex commands cool and then another great thing is that you can even do updates of your system so for example if you're running ubuntu and you need to regularly do it you can ask sgpt to do it for you which is quite cool and then there you go so same so we have just said update my system you can use the same command on uh, fedora or red hat or even on ubuntu you don't need to know the different commands for them it will do by itself that is a great advantage of it so, and there are heaps of examples here where you can integrate shell and do a lot of stuff i'll drop the link to it in a video's description read through it let me know your thoughts on it as you can see it's very very simple and you can also use it with powershell that's it. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.